back to the second segment of this show this morning. The topic is African American History Month and Women's History Month. And quite recently, during our first segment, we had a conversation with Miss Alana uh, McLaughlin. And of course, uh, doing, in doing so, we sort of laid the foundation for the uh, topic today, and that is African American history and women's history. And we have with us during the second uh, segment, uh, Dr. Gloria Pillow who will give us some additional information about African American History Month as well as uh, Women's History Month, February and March of 2011. <laughs> yeah, and, and, and then we'll be able, why don't you, uh, uh, Dr. Pillow, give us a few minutes of, uh, of information in reference to your background, your education, and some of the things that really led you to uh, come to us with this great book, Mother Love, in Shades of Black and White. And we want to talk about that book as soon as we have an opportunity to get some background information from you. Thank you, Dr. Haney. I'd, I'd first like to say that Nashville has been one of my two homes since I was born. I, I came here as a child, age six. Mm -hmm. I was born in Atlanta and my father's work brought us to um, Nashville. Mm -hmm. I am a proud graduate of Cameron High School mm -hmm. um, uh, here in Nashville and, and then uh, pursued a BA in French and secondary education at Clark College back in Atlanta. Um, after teaching, no, my first student in graduate oh, school okay. was at the University mm -hmm. of Minnesota. Mm -hmm. That was right after mm -hmm. college. That was uh, in pursuit of a master's in, in French. Mm -hmm. um, I worked for the Minneapolis public school system mm -hmm. uh, for seven years. For three years, I directed a, a project on mm -hmm. uh, institutional racism, desegregation, and, and, um, and for Nine years after that, mm -hmm. I was a director of the United Negro College Fund yeah, office yeah, mm -hmm. in Minneapolis. Mm -hmm. uh, then at a, a rather advanced age, I decided that I really, really needed to mm -hmm. follow my dream, and that was to return to school to study um, literature, specifically African-American literature. All literature interests me, but mm -hmm. that is my main mm -hmm. area of specialization. specialization. Very good. And um, I, I did so at the University of Chicago. Mm -hmm received my master's and PhD um, and, and taught at Michigan State University mm -hmm. for five years. Um, a medical situation um, required um, that I uh, take a medical leave and I returned to Atlanta where my parents had retired, lived with them for six years mm -hmm. and then happily uh, married a high school friend and, and that's what brought me back to, mm -hmm. to Nashville, Nashville five Tennessee. years ago Very and good. this is when I was able to, mm -hmm. to work on my book. You know, uh, we talk about uh, uh, your book, Mother Love in Shades of Black and White. In Shades of Black. Uh, I understand that uh, you've got uh, six segments in, in, yes. in, in which you would like to uh, share some information with us. Yes. Dealing with uh, historically African-American females for yes. the most part. And, yes. And I think that that's quite interesting. What I'd like for you to do over the next uh, uh, part of this segment, as well as the uh, final segment, is to give us sort of a, 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 a statement in reference to some of these uh, women and uh, some of the impacts that they had and some of the things that they were able to do in their lives. And then we'll be able to sort of summarize that book All for right. you. Mm -hmm. I'll start at the end if that makes, uh, if that makes sense. And that's because the, the sixth chapter has to do with Toni Morrison's mm -hmm. Beloved, the mother. And Toni Morrison's Beloved is, uh, is an incredible mm -hmm. uh, character based on a true story. It's, mm -hmm. a, it's a slave narrative. Mm -hmm. I, I hesitate to call it fiction because it tells the story of so many mm -hmm. slave mothers and so many uh, enslaved individuals and, and for that matter so many slaveholders mm -hmm. who did mm -hmm. not realize uh, some did and some didn't how, how cruel and insane mm -hmm. uh, the system the culture was and, and how insane it made mm -hmm all of its black inhabitants, as well as black white. as and white. Mm -hmm. We talk about entitlement today, but mm -hmm. when you think you're entitled for someone to fan you mm -hmm. because mm -hmm. a little fly is buzzing mm -hmm. around while mm -hmm. you're having your mint julep, that's, that's very serious. Mm -hmm. And when you think you're entitled to take one's children and sell them uh, again, this, this is mm -hmm. dementia as, mm -hmm. as far as I'm concerned. Mm -hmm. So um, M Mother Love begins and ends with a slave narrative. Mm -hmm. One is an autobiography, that's by Harriet Jacobs. Good. 1851 and it ends with Toni Morrison's Beloved but I was beginning with Beloved because that's the book that stirred my interest and and started uh, 
my research path. And, and created it, a passion for you in Rutgers. Very much I so. Can that. Um, mm -hmm. When I think of my growing up years in Nashville in mm -hmm. a completely segregated mm -hmm. environment, um, and, and I think of what the parents and the teachers were able to instill mm -hmm. in us while the larger society was saying, you're second class citizens, mm -hmm. you're, you're inferior, mm -hmm. you're, not, you're not intelligent, you can't go to a public Good. park, mm -hmm. even though it's public, you're not mm -hmm. allowed, and, mm -hmm. and here's, your, here's your little for coloreds only um, mm -hmm. uh, water fountain. Mm -hmm. I think back to the beginning of, of, of that insanity, mm -hmm. and that was, of course, the institution mm -hmm. of slavery. Mm -hmm. This mother, Dr. Haney, killed her child. Mm -hmm. She killed her not because she was crazy, mm -hmm. not because she was a bad mother. Okay. She killed her because she could not stand for her children to live in uh, such a prohibitive oh, environment. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And, and I wanted to search very carefully what made up this woman's psyche. Type, very good. Mm -hmm. And uh, I, I dealt with psychoanalytic mm -hmm. theory. Uh, I deal with that in, in each mm -hmm. chapter, which is interesting because psychoanalytic theory has a, a shameful history with mm -hmm. regard to, to um, people of color right, right. as well mm -hmm. as women. Mm -hmm. But uh, on the plus side, it offers incredible insights mm -hmm. into our behavior, mm -hmm. why we do mm -hmm. what we do. Mm -hmm. So if I look at internal issues with regard to psychoanalytic mm -hmm. theory. It explains a lot. Mm -hmm. uh, if I dismiss some of the externals, mm -hmm. um, uh, then I'm on surer oh, ground good. in terms mm -hmm. of looking into why did this mm -hmm. woman mm -hmm. do this? Why? Mm -hmm. How could she have been a good mother mm -hmm. and yet hurt her child mm -hmm. to this extent? Mm -hmm. um, and from that novel, I chose several others at mm -hmm. different points in mm -hmm. time mm -hmm. uh, so that the reader and I could gauge how difficult the terrain was for a mother to negotiate mm -hmm. the, the racial and the gendered mm -hmm. Um, mm -hmm. territory that she mm -hmm. was navigating. And, 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 and these are the mothers that uh, you've identified in, in terms of your, your novel, I mean, in terms of your uh, 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 historical work. Yes. And so we want to talk about them yes. uh, as soon as we come back from this uh, second commercial All break. Right. And we'll be back with our audience uh, during the, for the second, after the second commercial break, uh, thank you now. <laughs>